In the industry, we have a term that we use called brow shock. Although I find that it doesn't just apply to brows, we can also have lip shock or eyeliner shock. Basically what we're referring to is that initial reaction when you first see your permanent makeup. Often clients come here because they have little to no eyebrow hair. Um, just for an example, we'll talk eyebrows. And it can be really startling the first time you see these heavy painted eyebrows on you. But remember, that initial heavy painted result is not what the final outcome will be. It really does require a lot of patience and trust to get through that first week. You can expect your results to look a little exaggerated and overblown and much too dark when you first see them. And generally it stays that way for about five days. In about five days, some of the superficial color will chip away and underneath there you will see a much softer version of the work. In fact, sometimes it looks too soft at first and we refer to this as the ghosting phase. Please refer to my video on the ghosting phase to understand better what that is but it is important to be mentally prepared for this process. It really does take about five to seven days for the skin to settle, for the swelling to subside. And during that first week, you can expect there may be some shape shifting. Perhaps the color isn't what you're hoping for. Just hang in there. It does take time. It does take patience. In fact, for eyebrows or eyeliner, you can expect it to take about four weeks for the color to fully develop and lip colors even longer. For lip color, it can take up to six weeks for the color to fully develop into your target color. Just hang in there. And remember, you're gonna come back and see me in six weeks. So if there truly are any issues, we're going to address that at the touch-up because that is what the touch-up is for.